What is a NeoPro? In the latest of our What Is videos, we take a look at the term NeoPro. Simply put, a NeoPro is a new or first year professional. Riders who are part of a continental team are not officially ranked as professional riders by the UCI, even though they will compete against World Tour opposition. So Sam Bennett, for example, who won a stage of the 2013 Tour of Britain whilst riding for Anne Post, is still a NeoPro having signed for the Pro Continental NetApp Enduro team in 2014. Under UCI rules, Neo Pros must be given a minimum two year contract by a team in order to give them time to find their feet amongst the professional peloton. They will also have to be paid the minimum wage. This amount will depend on the level of the team that they sign for. For a professional continental team, the amount is €25,300, whilst if a rider signs for a world tour team, they will be entitled to a minimum of €29,370 a year. This amount applies only to Neo Pros and will go up to €30,250 and €36,300 respectively from their second year onwards. On top of this, you can only be deemed to be a Neo Pro if you join your professional team no later than your 25th year. So if you're a latecomer to the sport and only turn professional at 28, then you aren't a Neo. New professionals will often spend the first year or two learning the ropes and working for their team leaders. However, there have been some very successful Neo Pros over the last couple of years. In 2013, Warren Bargui won two stages of the Welt at age just 21. Rowan Dennis won the time trial at the Criterion de Dauphiné and went on to win the Tour of Alberta later in the season. In 2011, John Degenkolb turned professional with the HTC squad and quickly found his feet, taking two stage wins at the Criterium de Dauphiné. In fact, that race seems like a good one for Neos. Nara Quintana also won a stage there in 2012 after turning pro with Mobistar. Earlier this year, GCN picked 10 Neo pros to watch in 2014, and if you haven't already seen it, then you can click here.